Welcome to Riverbend Talon on WBGZ. Brought to you by the Halpin Music Company. You are correct, Lydia. Also brought to you by Mr. Matt Van Voorst of Macias Insurance. I'm Dennis and uh, Jody Hopper's here. Pig Hi, Not everyone. Even here. Don't, don't even worry about that. <laughs> I'm irrelevant. Yeah. I'm irrelevant. Oh, Pigpen's here too. You See guys how I don't got his mic him. turned off? <laughs> You've got his mic turned <laughs> off. <laughs> he doesn't even know it. I don't even know it. My headphones won't work, so I can't tell if I'm on or off. Yeah, well, I turned you on, then I turned you off, just so the listeners know. <laughs> I'm not making this up. Tonight, Jody's a sea shanty sing along happening right now at Morrison's Irish Pub. So, a bunch of guys get together and they do sea shanties. You ever, oh. you ever been involved in a no, sea shanty? No, never. What's that like? I don't know. So it's, a, it's oh. like an Irish. You want me Scottish. to turn your mic on? Sure. Oh, I thought you, I, you I didn't, didn't have headphones. I, my headphones don't work for they, some reason. I found them in that room and they're no longer working. Here's so. Okay. You uh, so now I can turn him off and he won't know. And I, I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. Yeah. So, so it's a it's a Scottish and Irish thing, uh, sort of tradition where in the pubs everybody knows these songs and they just get drunk and sing them together. Oh. So Morrison Morrison's does it where a couple musicians play and even if you don't know the songs they're very repetitive. Yeah. So you can catch on a few yeah, times. After and, a, yeah. Right. So, and that's a time. guess. I mean, I don't think Pigpen's ever been to one. I, I I roomed with a Scottish a couple of Scottish guys who taught me some of the <laughs> Scottish ones and. I can't think of any clean enough. Huh. She lived on a mountain and boop, like a poop mountain. The hairs <laughs> on her poop, poop hang down to her knees. <laughs> I mean, that's that's as close as I can I get. I love right. it. <laughs> that, that's going back to my high school years. Yeah. Scott Robertson's uh, cousin Gordon, who was from Scotland, oh, yeah, roomed with us for a while, and he, he taught Gordon. me a bunch of the Scottish yeah. ones. There we go. Uh, so, I do. hey, someone else is here, Big Pen, besides Jody Hopper, who. Is our favorite person of all time. That's how we. That's how we. That's how we introduce her. I mean, people should know who Jody Hopper is by now. It's, but that's why we have Hopper Fest. Yeah. For the kids it, who uh, might you, be like, I heard my dad talk about you. I, I was going to say, if if you're over the age of thirty and you play an instrument, you know who Jody Hopper is. I pretty much know a lot of people, and I love them all. Well. Maybe one or two, but you know, everybody has one or two. Right. Yeah. So yeah. my point is, uh, how do you introduce Jody Hopper? Except, hey, it's Jody Hopper, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> we can introduce Robert Shaw. We have Robert Shaw just by with doing us. that. It, it, just Robert Shaw, not not the greatest Robert Shaw, right, like no. the not, like, <laughs> not, Jody, like Jody, right? Oh. <laughs> well, what's happening, Robert? Yeah. How you living today? Uh, making it man, doing all right. Doing all right, yeah. and and Jody, well, for those for those of you who don't know, for for you young musicians or you non musicians uh, over thirty listening, Jody uh, or someone ran, overseas who happened or, or to just find overseas. our stream yeah, there randomly you go. and is going, what is this? Exactly, right. uh, Jody. Uh, ran Hopper Music and well, it was called Music and Hobby at first. It was Hopper's so, Music Hopper's and Music Hobby. and Hobby, and I don't know if the hobby stayed forever, but that was the no, original sign. That I was remember. when Don dropped out. That, yeah, Six right, months. Right, so. right. Uh, but uh, you, and Don, Don was your your husband who You're passed right. away, and, right. and I, I was lucky enough to see Don hammer the original sign in the in the door in the and yacht. scurry in. Well, you was my first customer. I, I'm so sorry that that's the legacy <laughs> left behind. That's why. I questioned if I was going to go ahead and do it. No, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> we questioned everything. I'm not that serious. Night. Uh, but it was it was Don. Uh, I was Hopper's music and hobby, and then and then and then somewhere the hobby got got removed. But yeah, the, when Don decided he couldn't think quick enough, or he <laughs> he wanted to take a couple of days to try to figure out if he wanted to trade. I said, Don, you can't do that. You right. got to be on it right then. <laughs> right. Well, I'm not doing it then. There it is. You can have it. <laughs> I'm done. Okay, I'm I'll done. take it. <laughs> uh, and we're going to be talking to Jody tonight about Hopper Fest, right? Yeah. That's coming up, uh, not this weekend, but the following weekend. Hopper Fest Deuce. Yep. It is. Hopper it, Fest la, Deuce. Last year, 
Oh, I, I, I can't was remember. Great. I can't remember what if it was the same weekend. It was about the same middle of June, wasn't it? Was, it? It, it was, was around the first earlier, last year, like a couple weeks earlier. A couple weeks yeah. earlier, like we ended up weekend. with a beautiful weekend. Oh, it was. Oh, it, it was, was beautiful, and it was so and, cool at night and stuff. Oh, uh, and and so many faces uh, that oh. I hadn't seen in a yeah, long time, me too. and I'm sure you had. Me too. You 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 had you knew everybody that was there. I only knew about half. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I know I know you do talk a lot, but I can beat you at talking. So <laughs> that's you, why I skipped you, right to you. I knew it. I, like, I, I, knew I, don't, it. I don't really need big man. I just turn him off. You know? <laughs> it's like that. See, it's perfect. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately, my nickname was Super Mouth by my dad when mm-hmm. I was little because he never could shut me up. I would never say that. <laughs> Mine, Super Mouth. Yeah, I wouldn't. I Not to my face, but. Anytime. Mine was super sucker in high school, but that's a whole different thing. <laughs> uh, there was a lot more, too, but we won't mention them. <laughs> oh, oh, man. It's... I've known this guy since he was like 13, 14 uh, years old. Yeah. yeah uh, I know. Uh, John's, man. It was, it was a, uh, a lifetime ago to think yeah. back, uh, uh, back on it, but. I was just actually relaying to uh, uh, Jared Umfried uh, mm-hmm. uh, the other day about how I couldn't. We were he, we were talking about Hopper Fest two coming up, and I said I I don't know how many times I walked in her store and said Jody I want to start a band. All I need is a guitar <laughs> and a guitar amp and a bass and a bass amp and, and I a remember microphone the first and, guitar. Oh, I do too. I I I would love to be able to right. bring that one back. I that was such, that was a super nice guitar a lot of guys remember that girl that got away i remember the guitar that got away <laughs> remember Bash's, too? Bash's first guitar yeah. um uh, no. i think it was a blue acoustic uh, i did buy a blue acoustic from you but yeah. that wasn't the first that wasn't his no. first no no, no. It was his first from hoppers it was his first real see i waited till i got money you know i know you <laughs> did <laughs> i yeah. did i always you had money when i came in there mm-hmm. yeah was it Ibanez? Yeah. I don't remember. I think it was. But yeah, there is an electric acoustic. Yeah, yeah, it was. I gave that to a kid yeah. who needed to learn. Right. Nice. I've nice. done that a few times. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was a cornerstone stone of, of Hopper's store was, was getting instruments in kids' hands. Because well, that's why I continued the store was for the young kids. Because yeah. nobody, I mean, yeah, they were brats, some of them, but. They wanted to play, and they had to have somebody to trust them because sometimes all they had was their allowance money, two dollars yeah. or something. Yeah. But I have to $5 say, five dollars a true. week. Yeah. yeah, five dollars a week was my lunch money. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and that was my agreed upon payment for that first guitar. <laughs> I knew I had at least five a week coming in lunch he money. He chewed on the strings afterwards. He didn't have anything to eat. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> Uh, I learned to panhandle real young. <laughs> uh, uh, so there you go. So Hopperfest, Deuce, Hopperfest, the second one, June 17th and 18th coming up. We're going to go down the uh, list of, of bands here in, in a few minutes because there's uh, two days full of bands, and we're going to talk all about that. But first, it is past 6 o'clock. There's already things happening in the Riverbend area this evening. So yeah. let's... Uh, let's and- and for the folks who are listening in in Japan, on the stream, just by accident, we're going to talk about what goes on in our little town. Yeah. I believe that's very offensive. I, I, I'm sorry, sorry, I accidentally There's been there. people, like, get kicked off the radio for doing that now. So you know, I'm, I forget that this isn't 2017 <laughs> anymore. We can't make jokes. <laughs> I, I forgot jokes are illegal, so I, I imagine I'll be arrested I'm trying on the way to, home. I'm trying to cover for you. Yeah, just I, just calm down, please. It's okay. You okay. don't have to cover for me. <laughs> I got the duct tape if you need me to. Mm. I've had yeah. to do it a few times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they, usually they put a ball gag in my mouth about this time of yeah. the show, and I'm not allowed to talk anymore. Uh, all right, so what's going on other than what we talked about the sea shanties happening at Morrison's Irish Pub? That got kicked off at 6 o'clock. Also, tonight, hooky at the night market. That is a uh, fun one. That's going on 7 to 10 p.m. That's right in the uh, Jacoby's 
parking lot right next oh. to Jacoby's across from uh, Woodstock Lounge there, directly across the street. So, uh, 7 to 10 p.m., hooky going on mm-hmm. tonight. That's why all those people are there. Yeah, yeah, and now you know where to stop on the way home. <laughs> right, yeah. They get the new... Uh, what are those things called? Food trucks. Yeah. 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 What is that place called? The, the food so, truck lot, I flag, believe it is. Flock, isn't it? Flock. Yeah, that's I it. Think flock. The name of it's flock. That's what I was trying to remember. Way to go, Jody. Yeah. Yeah. I told you we didn't need pig members. Turn his mic <laughs> off again. Also going on tonight around the River Bend, Derry Garcia's Lonesome Blues at uh, 8 o'clock at the Conservatory. Open mic later tonight at Raging Cajun. Deluxe duo at uh, Fast Eddie's until 11 tonight, starting at 7. Open mic already underway at Baker's and Hale and Godfrey. And uh, But Bethalto Spirit music in the park. Uh, Mesa Blues Band, 7 to 8 tonight in Central Park in Bethalto. Tommy Carlos playing tonight at uh, Rustic Roots in Wood River. Uh, oh, country there, man. Yeah, I still got your mind. Oh, see, so you still off, got so. me off. There you go. I said, <laughs> Tommy Carlos, friend of the show. He's been on our show. Good, some good, good country writer there. Sold man. him his first guitar too. Did you sell Tommy I his did. first guitar, man? And he has wrote some Grammy-winning songs oh, yeah. on those guitars. Yeah, he's good. How many uh, different? Uh, uh, what are those called that he has uh, songwriter gigs? Oh, he, he's he had, on like he his had, fifth he, one, right? He, he's on like his, his 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 sixth or seventh publishing contract. Publishing, thank you. And he just like if he loses one, he is undeterred. He just goes and gets him another one, man. That's that, that's the way to go. Oh, he's yeah, yeah he's got it, any man. And so. now a brand new album, his first one. Yeah, first first solo album after writing songs for people for so many other people, uh, and, uh, putting his own line in the water there, singing his own line out there. So there you go. So he's yeah. at Rustic Roots uh, tonight. Nice in Wood River. Yeah, and. Uh, check out that uh, interview with him if you want more details on uh, his career because pretty exciting career huh? amazing career out of a uh, east alton kid there right karaoke uh with dj tony tonight at martin's tunes and eats in wood river piano joe seven to ten at george's hoka brew in jerseyville trilogy seven to nine at grafton's music in the park jared lutz at the uh, corner tavern in edwardsville at seven laney and julie who we will hopefully see later tonight right they are uh at Big Daddy's tonight. So how's that going to work out? You know, <laughs> I think there might have been a miscommunication. <laughs> Scott Marlin's the one who set that up. Okay, so well, we, we might have uh, we yeah. might have had a miscommunication. Yeah. If they are indeed at Big Daddy's, they will not be here. Yeah. That is for sure. That works out like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe they cut the, the set short and say, "Hey, we're only playing an hour tonight. We're here I, all the time." So. I, you know, I don't know, but uh, we'll, well see what happens. I guess. <laughs> so you no, know, Dave's not here. <laughs> because Dave's at uh, Doyce Village Inn tonight uh, with uh, Ray Warren. Ray Warren and Dave, 7 to 11 at Doyce Village Inn in Pontoon Beach. You thought I was making a joke. I did. I thought we were just doing a Cheech and Chong bit there right. for a minute. <laughs> no, yeah. Dave's not here, man. I appreciate you uh, giving uh, credit for that joke. Sure. And you didn't claim it for yourself. Nah. Anyways. <laughs> I usually, just, Benny, I usually Benny. just steal jokes all day. Uh, also that's we what got, Unknown and Sailing said about you, actually. I, that, that's and they are you're not. Never, you they never, are not wrong. You, you heard never. It. You never show up when they're here, so you know what that means. They get to talk about you. I, well, that's what you do, and other band members don't. You? I truly <laughs> believe that uh, Isaac Gruen, uh, my godson, would talk about me even if I was here. Yeah, that's true. He he would not hold back one bit, and he knows I would laugh at every joke he had. And and they are not they are not uh, incorrect. You've heard of cover bands. I I'm a cover comedian. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's funny. Going to make someone laugh. I'm telling the joke. <laughs> it's funnier when he tries to claim it, and everybody knows it, and ain't his joke. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's the funniest bit right there. I Anyways. wrote all the good jokes on The Simpsons, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people don't know that. You uh, uh, you know those guys down at Alfresco Productions have been working really hard, and they're ready to debut their latest musical tonight called yeah. All Shook Up, which has like 50s music in it. Yeah. And yeah. that's at 7.30 tonight at the Performing Arts Center in Granite City. Good name for a Performing Arts Center. Yeah. Alfrasco Productions, they have been doing a lot down there, so good for they're, them, man. They're just presenting it. Though. Right, they're, well, that's what I mean, good for them for doing this. They're, uh, they've been putting on a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah, so. the Performing Arts Center. There you go. Hey, we got one of those in town. They're going to do something this weekend, I'm pretty sure. Jacoby's? Yeah. Yeah. Art Center. Art Center. <laughs> right. How about Alex G- Digiarola? How you say that one? Did you roll? 
That's L A M O. Wow, Rolomo. That, that's almost yeah. L M A O. That's a which, heck of a name you got there. Yeah. That's a lot of vowels. All uh, right, so. <laughs> wow. Digi Rolamo. Yep. Diggy Rolamo. There you go. Alex, that is, and, and, and Alex Digi Rolamo is going 6 to 9 to Prairie and in Dorsey this right. evening. Already underway. Yep. Lots of fairs this weekend. All right. Including in uh, McCoupin County. That fair is held in Carlinville. And uh, this guy, Craig Morgan, apparently a recording artist in country music. All right. Not familiar? I am unfamiliar. But uh, he's going to kick off the show with a local guy named Mike Stell. All right. It's 7.30 at the grandstand. And uh, he must be, because uh, this is the only ticketed event as far as music I've seen this weekend at the McCoupin County Fair. And it's 25 bucks in advance, which too late for that. Uh, 35 days of the show, and that's today. Right? All right. Well, that's for Craig Morgan, so. Right. And then after that, Hunter Hathcote will be playing at the Smoky Jennings Pavilion at the McCoupin County Fair at 930. All right. So there you go. That's also, we have the uh, the Experience Live Music Row we've been telling you about that's going on in Belleville. Uh, going on like multiple nights, three or four nights a week with like seven venues all having music. So if you are in Belleville... Uh, you will sit on the main drag there. You will see it happening. Uh, you can experience live music row. See how they named that? Exactly. You can experience it. All you got to do is go to Belleville. There you go. That's your Performing third. Performing Arts Center. And art. Uh, I, I, <laughs> my, my uncle's name is Art Center. Uh, uh, we yeah, love so our there you go. Here. That is a Thursday evening on uh, the east side of the river. We are chomping the gums with uh, the Hopper Fest folks tonight. <sighs> Jody Hopper, Robert Shaw, and uh, Pigpen. <laughs> Are you involved? I I am experienced. Are you experienced? Yeah. <laughs> you know I am. I, I am. Are you experienced? The greatest I, three-piece band ever. I believe I I believe I am involved. I, I I believe I will be there helping out with some sound reinforcement. So, uh, yes. it will it will be a uh, good time. I know I'll be there. How much I help with the sound reinforcement depends on, you know. I mean, how. Well, you got to be there. You were my first customer. I, so. I will definitely be there, and I will be helping. I'm sure I will be shagging gear and doing what I'm told to do. But, you know, I'll also be frolicking around in the field. <laughs> and so. there, there is the VFW and Kind of Chills. Yeah, yeah. Kind of Chills VFW. Are Veterans, returning. Foreign Wars. Good name. It's an art center? No, it's not an art center. It's, it it might as well signs. be. He's flashing signs. I, oh, I'm, I'm okay. showing the cameras right. for the YouTube channel, some of the uh, merch here. We've got a koozie. We got merch. Ooh, and we got T-shirts. Shirts. And all this stuff will be available shirts. for the public, right? Right. Hopper Check Fest. that out, man. Hopper Fest T-shirts. So let's, uh, let's talk a little you bit get, about the lineup. You get into the second annual. You got T-shirts all of a sudden. Yeah. yeah. Well, so many people asked for them <laughs> last year. Ah. I never thought, up, you know. Black Friday or any of that shit. Oh. <laughs> uh, he said we, that's it. Yeah, yeah that <laughs> is it. We are going to announce Friday. That is it. He is right. That's that's it. That's it. Uh, so Friday, uh, we're kicking off at 6 p.m. on the second annual Hopper Fest at the Cottage Hills VFW. Uh Left X Royal, is that right? Yep. So there you go. Left X Royal going six to six. the first time I've heard them, too. I don't know. I don't know much about them. Got to give them a chance. Go, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you always gave people a chance. And absolutely. I remember you would say, look, I gave you a chance. Now turn that amp off in my store. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you lots of chances, and you haven't gotten any better. <laughs> How'd you uh, find out about this band? Um, a little insight. They called. Is that one that called? They called and yeah. said okay. they heard we were having Hopper Fest nice. and they were there last year and they'd like to play. Oh, and nice. There and you I go. said, We've got one opening, but it's pretty early. And he goes, I'll take anything. They, they, <laughs> nice. I like the attitude. I They're love supposed them. to be kind of bluesy rock like. Sounds like an opener. So I think, I mean, you know. If they can play, we can listen. Absolutely. That's there you right. go. And you got to love the attitude of reaching out, asking oh, yeah. to play, and saying, we'll yeah. take whatever. Absolutely. You got to love that. Uh, so that is going on 6 to 7 p.m. on Friday. 7 to 8, Frank Anthony. Who is, uh, who's Frank Anthony? Oh, he's, he's just... 
Do you mean you've lived in this town <laughs> this long and not knew Frank Anthony? I don't think I know Frank Anthony. He's played in so many bands. Yeah, but that's our problem. We know the band name. but yeah. probably. I was going yeah, uh, to say, and I meet well, a lot of people that I honestly you don't know, remember. Right. remember who, like, Lila Lee? Yeah. Okay, well. He played with her. Yeah. And, uh, uh, Locks. He yeah. played. He's played with many, many he's musicians. Fan, he was a fa- in his day. He was like a fantastic freaking guitar player. Like, I mean, just pff, great well, guy. Unbelievable yeah. man. Yeah. He's okay, there you go. Guy. So I'm looking forward to hearing Frank Anthony. Yeah. And I probably when I get there, I'll probably be like, oh, it, I don't know that like, guy. It's, <laughs> it'll be him, his son, uh, Nick Douglas is with him. Um, How about Michael Anthony? He's probably available. <laughs> no. He's available. <laughs> oh, Tim Owens, Donna, Donna, uh, Maya or Owens or. Used to be Donna Owens. Yeah, I, used to be Donna Owens. She hasn't told me her new name yet. Right. I, don't, <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, them, that, they're, they're the band. They're, they're, they'll, be, they'll be good, whatever. Nice. Okay, there you go. That is uh, Frank Anthony, 7 to 8 on Friday. Then on uh, Friday after that, we got Atomic Heart. Uh, tell us about Atomic Heart it's going 8 to 9 okay, well, p.m. They're a new band on me, too, because I actually uh, have, haven't heard them, but I do trust Rob Beard's words, and he told me that they were really good. Okay. And he said if, if uh, they wanted to play it, if his band want, was going to play it, that he wouldn't wouldn't mind these guys playing it before him or after him. So I was like, all right, bet I'll give him a spot. Cool. So that's how cool. I got acquainted with that. And yeah. speaking of Rob Beard, his band, the Suburban Rocket Launchers, will be playing nine to ten p.m. on Friday. Nice. Now I've heard Suburban Rocket right. Launchers. Been uh, a while though. Been it, a while. it has been. It has been a minute. I think they played. Uh, a Bush Fest or a Trinity River Fest uh, last year was the last time I saw them. Mm. Uh, but that, yeah, that's why I was just thinking about this list uh, so far. Now uh, the festivals we've seen out there at the VFW, uh, fresh dose of bands. Uh, yeah, I, and we I, like fresh doses. Yes, I, I love a, a good, healthy, fresh dose uh, <laughs> of bands. Of, of, of I took a dose of intriguing all earlier, and I am intrigued <laughs> as all get out about this lineup. <laughs> so we got it's so crazy. It's 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 uh th- it's true. We we have not heard of of uh, Left X Royal. Frank Anthony may or may not know him. Uh, bro, akin to Michael Anthony, I understand. So, you know, yeah. that fake news. Uh, Atomic Heart, <laughs> we have not heard of. Now, Rob Beard, uh, the, the, the Suburban Rocket Launchers, we were we were discussing him uh, yeah. uh, how long we've known him. Yes. Since uh, right before the show started, you said, oh, I've known him since he was just a wee guy. And, yeah, he was probably 11, 12 years old. Me and, me and Rob go back to junior high, at least, if not before East, right. if not before at Milton School. And I was telling you how I remember him calling me up after school with the old rotary <laughs> phones and, hey, listen, I, I've been messing with this on my guitar and, you know, and just playing. It would be so loud. And those the speakers in those old phones were actually pretty They were pretty good yeah. where it sounded like his amp was in the room with me. <laughs> <laughs> but that was how we would, you know, like show oh, each other. he worked hard. He wanted to play yeah. music and he worked well, at and, it. And that's mm-hmm. how we would show each other what we were working on back right. in the days because we couldn't really like take our amp, you know, carry it. We didn't have cars and you couldn't right. carry an amp on a bike unless you found it on the side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> like Rob Beard once did right. and brought it into your shop, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> so... Uh, that's how we would play, show each other what we were learning on guitars playing. Yeah. Uh, so there you go. His, uh, Suburban Rocket Launchers, they are playing 9 to 10 and then finally finishing out the Friday evening on June 17th at Hopper Fest 2 is Livewire going Trip 10. Wire. Oh, Trip. Tripwire. Sorry, that, that's My right. Yeah. yeah. Tripwire. Now that, they, they, uh, they were there last year. They were there last year. That is, uh, Damon, Damon Whitman. Damon Whitman, Paul Steinbrook, uh, Ron, Howard. What's Ron, Ron Howard. Howard. Ron Howard, who the, famous for, for being on Happy Days, Ron. a famous movie <laughs> director, uh, you know, and everybody, you know, like, what, what, what's, what's your favorite? Tenen, what's, I don't, Brian, I can't Chad. Chad Tennant. No. Chad Tennant. Chad, 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 Chad. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah, we, we interviewed those guys. Sounds yeah. totally yeah. made up. They're cool guys. Chad, Chad, yeah. and not. Chad's a fun guy. <laughs> Just like all the tenants. Right. Right, yeah. What what's your favorite uh Ron Howard, the young Ron Howard uh, you know, on 
<laughs> skipping a stone and cross. I'm just saying. Well, I just I I didn't uh, remember Ron at that age. But. <laughs> we always inter- introduce Damon as your favorite drummer of all time. I'm sorry. I love all the drummers, but he is. Yeah. Yeah. He, I I he, I can't deny it. He and he too came from picking up stuff out of garbage. We even cut a top of a trash can one time to make him a symbol. <laughs> right. <laughs> and he would come in and this. say, if you get any junk, oh, I'll take it. it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's a yeah. he's a super I love that kid. And, and yeah, and Jody's a way bigger star than Andy Griffith. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> or Tom Bosley. I mean be Tom Bosley, I'm, you know. <laughs> I'm just saying mo- most people can pick one of three of their favorite Ron Howards. The young Andy Griffin right. Ron Howard. The 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 happy days Ron Howard are the old ball oh, director. <laughs> yeah, I like the young guy, you know. Did you? Did you? <laughs> and I, I, Andy Griffin's my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> You know Ron's got to be tired of those jokes. Oh, yeah, right yeah. His whole life, he's <laughs> whole like, life. I've been hearing this forever. Uh, but he is yeah, not a redhead. You know, and, and Well, it's just kind of like him singing. He has some pipes, though, yeah. this song, Black Betty? Right. You know, he's famous <laughs> but he for don't, that. He, only he don't say that. Uh, no, I, well, mean, I he, can't say what he said. No, he's... But, oh. So, so <laughs> I, I want to say this. Who, see Little this. Ron Howard? Yeah, we probably shouldn't yeah. repeat what Little Ron Howard Well, you said. don't... When he skipped that stone, it went and hit someone that... No, I don't know. <laughs> because he didn't like him. <laughs> anyway, uh, going back to Damon being your, your, your favorite drummer, uh, I will say this. Damon is a machine on yeah. keeping time. He oh, does he not is. lose time, and he is <clears throat> intense. And he can play anything. Yes. I mean, you just call something out. And he, he's, he's there. on it, so yeah. there, yeah, yeah, uh, and he's he's and he's a super super nice person. Yeah, I love Butch him. Yes, the same, man. Yeah, they, like, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Butch McMaster's. Mm-hmm. I felt the same way. Oh, yeah. The, and, yeah, and that niceness yeah. goes a long way because I, you know, Jody wouldn't let me back in the shop after she <laughs> sold me that first guitar because I wasn't very nice about it. At all. <laughs> it it took six eight months I, before I got I a take second the guitar. Fifth. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'll take a fifth. That's a hit off a fifth too, if you got one over there. I mean, you're old he wasn't mouth. all that bad. He was just a mouth, you know. <laughs> See, and you See were already you, you were already called Super Mouth. That's why they had to call me Super Sun. That's what it was. You was Super Sun Mouth. <laughs> Oh, so so that tripwire uh, rounds out our Friday night. Let's let's talk about the Saturday night at Hopper Fest. That was uh, back when he was scrapped too. He was yeah, a little, a little he more honorary back then. Uh, yeah. then. I still call him that. Yeah, 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 most people. My own mother does not. <laughs> that, it just reminds you not to trust him. Is that right? What it is? <laughs> yeah. Remember the old days? I don't know. Like, he always oh, came. Yeah, that he, guy. He always came through for me, okay. so I can't okay. really say that. Well, Even if I didn't eat my lunch, I'd come up with that five dollars. <laughs> he was afraid I'd take it back. Well, that's, <laughs> that's what it was about. You know, that's the most important thing. <laughs> please, right there. please don't do that. I know please, I wouldn't like, have, but you know, I had to make a believer out of it. <laughs> Good. So, I knew his dad too, and he was a great guy. So there you go. That's a yeah, guy there. right there. He, yep. Uh, he. My mom knew his dad. Yeah, they, he was yeah. super nice. Guy. <laughs> was. One we, night he ordered Yeggs and Aiken. <laughs> True story. My well, mom always tells that story. <laughs> they were all out one night. Sauced up a little bit. And had breakfast early in the morning, uh, and he ordered, what would I say? Eggs and... Egg, it's not Yeggs. Yeggs and, and Aiken. Uh, something like that. <laughs> I can't remember. That's probably the first cousins right. of egg and bacon, uh, you know? <laughs> We can talk. All we all we know is is we might be half brothers. No, I don't. <laughs> we don't know for sure what went on between my mom, my dad, and your mom that night. <laughs> well, after a few uh, well, drinks, I'm it's pretty hard sure to tell. my mom was a, a, a good person, and yeah. so I'm nothing pretty went sure on My there. dad probably wasn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he he was just okay. <laughs> That's so, not true. He was. Uh, a he, was person. he was. So uh, I think uh, I think Jody would verify that. Mom yeah. was nice. Oh yeah, yeah, your mom's a sweetheart. Yeah. I love her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's listening to you right now. Yeah, so you can I'm sure she her. is. She has to listen to her <laughs> baby boy. <laughs> she's and our I'm, only and listener. I'm sure when I said <laughs> we don't know what happened that night, she laughed. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> That's what I was going for. <laughs> she laughed just a little bit. So uh, they taught us in broadcasting school. If you didn't know, uh, you know. If you weren't comfortable, yeah. like with the microphone, and uh, so put a picture of your loved one in front of you. Well, that's what and you just people want you to be you. Right. 
you know, not so, vague. So what I do is just make sure she's listening. Yeah. You know, and then I know one person's listening. Well. Which is a good start. You got a lot. Got to start with one. one. Yeah. Right. A great person. <laughs> I always have a picture of the greatest American hero in front of me to, I don't know, give Who's me some inspiration. I, 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 yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't even know. One day we'll get to two listeners. That's going to uh, be exciting. Well, I don't know, but I, I, I want to know who Matthew Murder is, and should I be afraid of Matthew Murder? Because he's playing one to two on Saturday at Opera you Fest. What, your guess is as good as mine, because I don't know this cat either, but I'm anxious to hear him. I want to hear what this is. I can give you a few hints. Nico oh, the band. Bad. Nico the band. He played with Distant Eyes last weekend. Matthew the Murder did. Yeah. Matthew Murder did. Yeah. Okay. We know. Yeah. Oh, I do. So, I know. Kind of yeah. know who yeah. Nico is. Yeah. yeah. I, and yeah, I know so. Nico. I, I've seen Nico uh, and and uh, Distant Eyes. We we've seen them several times. So. I believe it's Matthew Batson. Okay. I believe. Ah. Maybe he did tell us his name. He hmm. might have. Who, who knows? has not this been on the been... show? So I'm winging it. See, I thought it was Matthew Red Rum, but I'm Lisdexic. <laughs> And I, I sometimes get Dyslexic. it back. I, yeah, that's a he good. He can put excuse. on a show. I wait, I can cool. tell by I can tell by photos. I don't even have to hear it. This guy's got charisma. All right, I'm I'm awesome. looking forward to it. And that that's the one that's that's kicking off the Saturday at Hopper Fest too yeah. on the June the 18th. Uh, again, that's happening at the Cottage Hills VFW. One to two, Matthew Murder. Following him, 1781, the band named after the address, right. the old shop and save. Mm-hmm. <laughs> really? I didn't know that. It is. They all work there. They all oh, work really? there. That's how they met. You. <laughs> See, they didn't tell me how they got their name. Mm. That is the address cool. of the old shop and save on, uh, uh, out there, and they all work there. So they're at 1781 playing two to three on Saturday. Is that Graham's? Is that the band that's Graham's? Uh, no, nope. that is that There's is his band. His, they're, they're, his. they're on there. They're synapses. They're coming <coughs> yeah, up a little synapses. later. But okay. here's one I really like. Okay, the Birds of Squalor. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. They are playing four to five, and yeah. I am a fan of the Birds of Squalor, yeah, uh, especially Mr. Chris Bandahi or Chris right. of the High, uh, as they're as they're really doing some kind of like good music. He starts doing. Just ridiculous banter in the background, which I love. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, and, I love uh, that even though they're is they're he the singer, uh, he he is uh, the guitar right. player who also so the ball bald uh, guitar okay, yeah. player that also sings. Yeah, and okay, yeah. uh, you're thinking of Jamie Dunn. Jamie who Dunn, we are very singer. fond of as well. Right, right, he yeah. does the open mic uh, tonight at uh, Raging Raging Cajun. Cajun. Oh, yeah. cool. Every every Thursday he does an open mic down mm. there. So has been for a long time now. There you go. So the Birds of Squalor holding down the four to five p.m. position. Jeff McGee he kicked off the uh, the Saturday last year. He did. Yeah. And right. Jeff he gets McGee sleep in this week. is one of those guys with just a nice guy. Great, Super nice. great attitude about life and about j- in general. And man, he can just play. Yeah, yeah. like he's just. He's comfortable. He started out playing drums. Did he? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. Any relation to Humphreys? Maybe. <laughs> Humphreys <laughs> McGee? Possible. Cousin of Humphrey McGee? <laughs> It's That'd probably cool. Bobby McGee. But yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it could be Bobby McGee. <laughs> Nephew of Willie McGee? <laughs> could be Willie McGee. Yeah. I had a wood teacher named Mr. McGee. I don't remember his first name. I called him Mr. Yeah. McGee, because that's a good name for a uh, teacher. I know Mr. Kinda Magoo. Like <laughs> performing hey, new arts Bengals center. Gadgets. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Magoo. Yeah. Oh, uh, so, I feel like him a lot, uh, right, especially when I'm driving. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, way, the way my eyes are working more and more, I can't exactly. see a thing. Uh, so there you go, Jeff McGee. I, we spent off the track so often. Jeff McGee going 5 to 6 p.m. Saturday at Hopperfest 2, and now another one, 86 Red. Oh, yeah. Now, they, they were, what were they formerly? Hive Mind. Hive Mind. They Which were, everyone is. Right. Yeah, hive so mind. It gets confusing. I, we had him on the show, and <laughs> so, I told yeah. him that I said I try to look up information on you, and there are so many things called hive mind. It is. There's movies and books and think tanks. I mean, it's just, but uh, so now they are called eighty six red, which you know uh, they changed they drummers. Drummer. They got a different, different drummer. drummer. They they, they are holding down the seven to eight position. Scotty's yeah, sons play with oh. that. Scotty Robertson's. Oh, wow. so Andrew is Andrew's yeah. now and yeah. man. 
We're just calling yeah. Drew. But. It is so much fun for me to watch Drew play. He yeah. does, he he doesn't even realize it. it's like how good he is. And and it's like going in a time machine. He makes the same facial expression Scott did. Yep. He has some of the same moves. He's barefoot. It's mm-hmm. it's really like going back and seeing a taller version of Scott. Scott. <laughs> I love <laughs> and, uh, Scott too. It, it he, really makes me person. uh it yeah it it that that's like taking me in a time machine yeah. so that's i love time watching repeats him. itself oh i i love watching him play speaking of drew robertson he's also playing in the next band eight to nine synapsis yes which is uh a drew and then uh graham pagano's grandson sam and right. then uh, tom pullen's son jacob, jacob. Mm-hmm. and uh man you talk about some guys who talk about time repeating well, itself look like Look where they came from. <laughs> yes, yes. The nut does not fall no, too it far doesn't. from the tree. <laughs> no. It does because they're all and, great. Uh, young guys who are already playing just so well. Uh, so and that Sam go. is Sam Four for yep. the fans out there that know him as Four. Sam Four. Yep. Four. Mm-hmm. Sam Four, Jacob Pullen, and Drew Robertson. I've known. Now, I, I didn't meet Jacob till uh, uh, about five or six years ago, but I've known both Sam and Drew since they were babies. Both great people and just amazing Well, Tom said he kind of kept him hid. Yeah. Look. You know, I, I believe you, that. You, you can, it, it shows good sense on Tom's part. That's all we can say there. That's another great uh, guy, Tom Poland. <laughs> yeah, I, I've done a lot of time in... U hauls and stinky hotel rooms. Oh, I know you have. I know you have. uh, We're always pulling for him. (laughs) Yeah, we're always always pulling for him. him. (laughs) Okay, so then after Synapsis does the eight to nine p.m. nine to ten, we got OGT. Yeah, they they was here last year too. They was played. It's actually JD Dunham and okay his band, but they he's uh, there's now that this is like a working name or something. ODT. It, it it stands for old guys trying. Okay, <laughs> I like, I like it. I like it. So yeah, that's maybe we could have a contest. Name the band. Yeah, right? name the band. I like old <laughs> guys cool. trying. I I so. do too. O G T. That's yeah. a, old and, guys trying works for me. Yeah. And uh, Jason Dunham, man, another one I've oh, known. Yeah. I, I've known. We grew up together. I've like, yeah. uh, known him since before either one of us owned yeah. a guitar. Right. Uh, Sam and Andy Icorn. Is the other guitar player. Oh, nice. nice. And then, uh, uh, what's Chris Link is the drummer. Okay. And then... Ingve Malmsteen on guitar. Yeah, right. I'm pretty sure. I was going to say that next. Ingve <laughs> J. Is that Ingve J. Malmsteen? No, it's a different guy. Another Ingve? Different guy. There's a lot of Ingve Malmsteens <laughs> out the, there. The, Not Jay. It's a Who's their bass player? I think it's oh, L. Man, killer. That dude that used to come in the store... Darren Gray? Oh. No, not Darren Gray. Ah, that, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. This guy's killer too, but I, I don't mean uh, he was. He brought that PV PV uh, Max uh, PV head. You're talking about somebody that sold thirty thousand mm. guitars. <laughs> His name's Eric. His name's Eric. Uh, Eric Idle. He also was no. part of the Mighty Python troop. <laughs> He's Eric. a bass player. Yeah. we got to have an Eric that's a bass player. Right. Eric Roberts? Hey, oh, he's back. He's back. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's I the that, that, So there anyway, you go. That's the old guys I'm trying. My, my apologies. That's yes. all right. That's all right. There, yeah, you're an old guy trying, yeah, too. Yeah, you're right. So. <laughs> Eric Bruce. That, yeah. That's a good one to go. Eric that's Bruce. That's a bass name. Yeah, yeah, son, of, son of Lenny Bruce. Who Jack Who once Bruce. said booger on TV <laughs> got thrown off. So <laughs> we're probably going to get thrown off for it now. So there you go. <laughs> And then finally, finally finishing off the, the Hopper Fest 2, the Saturday evening, what do we got here? Insectomy. Yep. Uh, so, not vasectomy. Yeah. No. Insectomy. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. that, uh, I was going to, yeah. We, we kind of did this maybe kind of a little bit on purpose because if you, like, have no interest in, like, I'm not saying it bad but about them or nothing, but if you have no interest in, like, anything heavy, you probably want to leave before these guys play. They're because, super heavy. They're huh? super because heavy. Because it is okay. insane. Like, nice. it's like but they're both hate crazy heavy. Nice. Okay. They're both really yeah. nice guys. Yeah, so. both super cool guys. Perfect. Young. I mean, but and just doing their what they like. Just doing what they do. Absolutely, I mean, man. Give them a the chance to do them what they do. So yeah, yeah. I, I, you, this will be their first time right, to play playing anywhere. Okay. in Ooh. front of anyone. So you know what I. 
uh, there was a little band that whose first gig ever was at Woodstock, and they were called Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Yeah, so, absolutely. Know, so, I so, remember that. Sometimes the first gig <laughs> yep. goes just fine. Yep. <laughs> of course, they all had really good bands before that. Yeah, too. I was yeah. going to say that when you, when you come from the Hollies and Buffalo Springfield, yeah, I mean, yeah they were they were doing just okay. <laughs> So there you go. So that is uh, there you go. So what, again, uh, well, well, you know what? Let's let's we will run through that whole lineup again uh, after we talk about what's happening Friday because we haven't even gone through Friday or Saturday, and we are right. We are cooking through our time. So we talked about the sea shanty sing along. We failed to mention that uh, Morrison's Irish Pub always has Irish music going all weekend yep. long. They just uh, don't announce it until maybe right before or you know maybe never. So just, you never uh, it's it's a you never know who it's going to be. But you can guarantee it. It's yeah. going to be Irish. There you go. And it That's will be cool. fun. They uh, they have a good time down there. Hooky, so that, 8 o'clock at Shea, Maryland. So on they're going Friday. To night market tonight. Shea, Maryland's Friday. Piano is uh, at Raging Cajun on Friday. Anthony and Annie, 2 to 6 in the Z Band at Fast Eddie's at 7.30. RFR. Uh, Reaver. 7 to 11 at the uh, VFW in Alton. Lefty Daytona, 7 to 10 at the Lodge at Lovejoy and Alton on Friday. Dueling Piano, 7 o'clock at Baker's and Hale and Godfrey. Mesa Blue, 7 o'clock at the Moose in Wood River on Friday. Silver Creek down at Martin's Tunes and Eats in Wood River at 8. John Evans up at George's Local Brew in Jerseyville from 7 to 10. Steve Mellis does his open mic at the Hog Pit on Fridays. The Soulard Blues Band will be at the uh, Loading Dock in Grafton, Mr. John Mundin. Catfish Willie, 8 o'clock at the Bloody Bucket Saloon in Grafton, and uh, the Fred Johnson duo, 6 to 10 at Grafton Pub, weather permitting. Dan Spro, 3 to 7 at Aries Resort in Grafton on Friday, and uh, night number two at Alfresco's Productions, uh, all shook up, the <laughs> Performing Arts Center in Granite City at 7 30. Oh, Elvis song. Rock. Oh, Elvis song. Er. Box. Rocker box. Right. <laughs> Rock dash er dash box. What does that mean? Uh, I don't know. It's great, though. Okay. 8 o'clock at Patrick's in Grandest City. The Ultimate Doors this week, uh, Friday at uh, oh. the Wild E in Edwardsville. Doors Tribute. American Originals, 6 to 9 at Big Daddy's in Edwardsville. Robert Perry, 5 to 8 at the Stagger Inn in Edwardsville on Friday. Mr. Steve Ewing in Edwardsville. Nice. From The Urge. From 7 to 11 at the 1818 Chop House in Edwardsville. Silver Creek Bluegrass, 7 to 10 at Reese's Brewer in Edwardsville. The Bearded Bandits Duo, 6 o'clock at the Cabin at Judy Creek and Glen Carbon. RCB, 5.30 to 8 at the American Legion Fish Fry in Collinsville. Trilogy, 7 o'clock at Schweitzer Fest <laughs> on the Square in Highland. That's going on all weekend. Squeeze Box, 6 to 10 at the Warden Homecoming. It is uh, homecoming weekend and Schweitzer Fest weekend as well. <laughs> and, <laughs> and county fair weekend. Right, with Flip the Frog, 8.30 to 12.30 at the Smoky Jennings Pavilion at the McCoupin County Fair. And, uh, of course, Experience Live Row going on all weekend long down in Belvo where the bars get together. And uh, you can just walk around and check them all out. We got the list at cottonmouth.org. And uh, to wrap up. Our Friday night, we have to give out a shout-out to one of two nights for Darian Rowe. She is playing uh, at 8 o'clock at the Tap Room on Beale Street in oh. Memphis, Tennessee. Good Ooh. for Darian Rowe. Yeah, Very she's nice, playing man. both Friday and Saturday That's down there. That's good for her, man. Mm-hmm. That's nice. So you ever play is... down there, Pigpen? I, I know. Am... You're a big blues guy. I have uh, I have not played on Beale Street. I might have been out there one day like a homeless guy with a guitar because I didn't have nowhere else to go. <laughs> but I've never played inside After a bar. After I kicked him I think out that of the was store. New Orleans. <laughs> I I, my, I have a very uh, clear memory of, of watching Bo Diddley play in BB King's club down on Beale Street, and that was fun just watching him talk smack and pick on that square guitar right, <laughs> basically right. uh so that was, yeah good times though so good for darian row there beale street uh gonna run through our saturday real quick no well, we could let's do it man let's make it happen so I we can friday you do this one. all right starting with wow the, the first one is just some yeah. huge thing that's going on june 
Juneteenth call and response art showcase. Right. All right, this is featuring a variety of artwork by African American artists. The community is invited to participate in a call and response style event. Writing event. So there you go. It's, you know. Okay. Uh, attendees will conduct a gallery walk and identify a piece of art that calls to them, and they will respond by composing a poem or some other piece of writing. So there you go. Mm -hmm. You look at an art, and you uh, if if it calls to you, you respond with your own written piece of word. Well, that is happening uh, at Jacoby's Art Center. One to three. There's more going on, though, because after One that, to three, that goes on, and that's $5 to get into that. And and, and they also have the ABK, ABK Dance Company, right. All About Kids. That is a dance recital featuring hip-hop, pom-poms, and acrobat performances yeah, that is cool. starting at 5 p.m and it is ten dollars to get into that you could pay 15 get in the whole day uh starting again at one with the call and response and then five with the dance that is all jacoby's on saturday evening a lot going on then we got kevin gruen and rob mckenzie happening at shea marinum we got pianos at the rage on cajon channel three and those guys killed it when i saw them recently uh they're playing at the lodge at lovejoy steve and shirley 2 to 6 p.m. and then the Z Band 7:30 p.m. at Fast Eddie's a Bone Air. Number four combo bands going down at Chubby's 5 9 p.m. on Saturday. Every little thing out of Baker's and Hailing Godfrey 7 p.m. on Saturday. While Gypsy Souls going at the Pump House in Wood River starting at 9 p.m. Then DJ AutoCAD will be at the franchise in Wood River and Raleigh. Overmeyer or Rolly Overmeyer 2 to 6 p.m. and then Lazy Lester 8 to 12 a.m. at Martin's Tunes and Eats in Wood River. That is all Saturday evening. Somebody's doing audio distilled at uh, the Blue Stem Distillery in Bethalto. We call it Meadowbrook from right. 4 to 7. But if you're searching, you'll probably find it under Bethalto with your, uh, what do they call those things? LPSs, GPS, GPS. QPS, yeah. <laughs> L O G by M. L P S is something different. If you yeah. Google that, you're going to get some weird stuff coming up. We got a festival going on in uh, Brighton this weekend. It's All the right. Keith Brenner Festival. And uh, kicking things off, Mark Rice, 3 o'clock. Last stand at 4 o'clock. The Suburban Rocket Launchers at 5 30. They'll be playing Hopper Fest the following weekend. Cornbread, 7 o'clock. Agents of the Free, 8 o'clock, and Cricket and the Grilled Avocados at 10 o'clock. It's a $5 charge there, and that's at the uh, BFW Farm in Brighton. Nice. That's, uh, yeah, that is right down the road from my house, man. Yeah, you'll have to uh, stumble over there. Yeah, so there you go. And then we got uh, Blues and Grass going 1 to 5, and then Backwoods of Burden 7 to 11 at Patty. Party at Kane. At Kane. No, party at Kane Park. I'm not sure what Kane Park read, is. He can't read party. You know his <laughs> yeah. eyes are going yeah. if he can't read the word party. Oh, I thought it he said party. He does too much of it. That's why I can't say I had, it. <laughs> I did a little more pre-game than normal, man. You could blindfold me with dental floss right now. I mean, so where yeah, is, but it's party. That's, it is a party at your, Kane Park, which I'm assuming is in Kane, Illinois. I that's don't your really favorite know. word. But let's hope that it, it's... <laughs> Favorite Definitely. thing. It's it's my profession. <laughs> my religion. There you go. I guess that's in Kane, isn't it? I believe yeah, I Kane. would hope that Kane Park is in yeah, Kane, Illinois. It would almost yeah. have to uh, be. We got synergy going on at the Grafton Winery, three to seven on Saturday, while the yacht rockers will be right down the road at the loading dock. Jim Bergman going. 8 to noon at, at the Bloody Bucket Sun. No, I'm to sorry. Midnight. 8 to midnight. 8 p.m. to midnight. See, I can't read. You're right. I, I must be drunk. Uh, that's at the Bloody Bucket Saloon in Grafton. Uh, TBD at the Oyster Bar. They're my favorite band. Uh, Soul Shine Groove, 2 to 5. And after midnight, 7 to 11 at the Grafton Pub. That, of course, weather permitting. Denver Wade Trent, possible serial killer, possible musician. We don't know what that name, but he's going new, uh, noon killer. to 3 p.m. Uh, yeah. Usually three names is just, you know, not a good sign. So Denver Wade Trent, I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, you're, you're probably a super nice guy. I would I would dare to go out on a limb and say you probably never killed anyone right now. Uh, Denver <laughs> he, Wade he's Trent. He's too busy. We say his name all the time. We do. We do, and I make fun of it a lot, and I'm Sometimes sorry. Sometimes we call him Trent and Nanny. 
Sometimes right. we call him Wade Trent, right? He, he, he's, but he's always out there doing something. Yeah, but Aries calls him Denver Wade Trent. Denver Wade Trent. Three. And he's going noon to 3 at the Aries Resort in Grafton. He will be followed by John Jarrett going 3 to 7 p.m. That's all happening Saturday. Also, Anthony Russo, 2 p.m. at the Longshot Tiki Bar. That's just over the, the river in Portage yeah. to Sioux. And then the Bay Wolf of the Granny's Rocker fame. Uh, still kicking it after all these years. They're going to be at really? Patrick's in Granite City this Saturday mm-hmm. evening. 8.45. I wow. like how they changed the start time. There. That's cool. Yeah. yeah they We're are still, the Rollins brothers early. still going after yeah. all these years. Yeah. And then uh, night three of All Shook Up at the Art Center. Did I say that right? Art Center? Yeah, Art Center. Yeah, Performing <laughs> Art Center. Performing. That's in Granite City. That's Good brought name. to you by Alfrasco Productions. And then flip side at Hooch and 16 in Granite City and the American Ring, uh, Originals at Tegan's in Granite City. That's a lot going on in Granite City. That's all Saturday, Saturday, and we're still going. We got another page here. Hey, <laughs> have we got another page? Yeah, is that, we're, is that we're only to box? Edwardsville on Saturday. Squeeze Box, 6 to 10 at Holiday Shores Marina Bar in Edwardsville on Saturday. Lanny and Julie, 9 a.m. to noon at the Goshen Market in Edwardsville, and then 2 to 5 at the Foundry Public House in Edwardsville. Uh, Mitch Ryder, Devil oh, wow. with a Blue Dress, nice. Jenny Take a Ride, Peter Rivera, Get Ready, I Just Want to Celebrate, okay? Yeah. <laughs> he does all those songs, Mitch Ryder. Yeah. He's man. one of the guys in the band. My then, my the, favorite song by Mitch Ryder is Linda Sue Dixon. Hey, play no LSD to me, that's okay. all I'm saying. <laughs> That's, another what guy. That's just lyrics out of the song. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> uh, so There's that, another that's... guy in the band named Soup Granda you might have oh. heard of. He wrote the songs, If You Want to Get to Heaven, Jackie Blue. Now, you see where cool. we're going with this? Then oh, there's yeah. this guy in the band called Larry Boyd. <sighs> Never uh, Been Any Reason, yeah. Love Me Tonight. We, we know all these songs. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. These three guys are getting together, Mitch Ryder, Soup Granda, and Larry Boyd at the Wildy Theater on mm. Saturday at 8 o'clock. There you go. Crystal Lady will be right And if you right don't know across. Soup, and you didn't tell him, I was waiting for you to say oh. it. If you don't know Soup Grind and you want to get to know him, what do you got to do? Check out the video. Right. We've had him on the show uh, more than once. Right. Or they probably know who he is because well, yeah, I was if you want to get to heaven and Jackie Blue and then, you know, obviously Mitch Ryder yeah. with the blue dress. Annie, Jenny, Annie, Annie does garbanzo. What, what about Peter Rivera? Polka. Peter Rivera. Get ready. Yeah. I just want to celebrate. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, one man. One of your favorite songs. Little three, little three dog night. No, <laughs> that's a band. The wrong band. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, here's a band name right across the uh, parking lot that night. Crystal Lady, nine o'clock at She's the back good. bar. Yeah. In, we heard her. She's yeah. very good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Strings and Keys will be at Big Daddy's around the corner from six to nine. Jared Lutz uh, around the corner again at the uh, Stagger Inn from five to eight on Saturday. Mike Lanini will be at the cabin at Judy Creek and Glen Carbon on Cater- on Saturday. Shotgun Creek, they're playing the uh, Madison County Firemen's Hall in Collinsville at 6 o'clock. Boulder Dash 5 to 8 at Hudats in Collinsville. We're going to kick it off with a parade up in Warden for the homecoming, and that'll be followed by American Slang or just about the same time, the uh, Warden homecoming. Silver Creek Bluegrass, 5 o'clock, followed by the Graham Band, 7 o'clock at Schweitzer Fest at the Square in Highland. Tripwire. We heard that name before. <laughs> yeah, they're playing at Hopperfest, aren't they? You tried to ch- change their name to Livewire, though. But <laughs> I, 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 I told him he wrong. tripped over a Livewire. That's what it was. <laughs> well, he changes so many names. I don't know if he did it himself or you know. <laughs> Anyways, six to ten at Wild Pickens on Saturday, so you get a little preview before Hopperfest. Screaming oh, Eagles oh, Jam oh, Band, eight cool. thirty. Uh, until uh, 12.30 a.m. at the Smoky Jennings Pavilion at the Coopin County Fair in Carlinville. Butch Moore and Pocahontas at the uh, Copper White. Dock Winery, 5 to 9. 8 to 7, uh, 6 p.m. at the Hollow House in Staunton. Yeah. Experience Music Row is going on again in Belleville. Mike Judy has a concert on Saturday. Failure at uh, Pops, 8 o'clock in Sage. Dana Michael Anderson and Bill Poss, 8 o'clock at the Focal oh, Point nice. in St. Louis. Nice. And then we mentioned Darian Rowe. She's going to be down on Beale Street. There. there you go, man. Oh, that, is, that is uh, quite a lineup for uh, our little uh, River Bend area. And there's three the pages backwards. of stuff on Sunday, including Mr. Matt Tall playing this Sunday at the Brown Bag Bistro. 
Hey, That's man, another fine. great guy. Mm-hmm. Skylark Brothers are playing at the Flock Food Truck Park. You're right. It's called Flock. It's called the Flock. Yeah. yeah. Flock. And Welcome that's back a, to the flock, brother. Show noon to three. <laughs> that's a that's a pretty good uh, little walk there. Noon to three. Uh, check out the Skylark Brothers, then head over and check out Matt Todd, the uh, Brown Bag Bistro. You will not be disappointed. Yeah. Right. And then no, they got the man. open mic if you want to jam at Shea Maryland's on yeah. Sunday. You just keep that walk going. So there you go, man. That's a lot going on. You can't say there's nothing happening uh, because we just told you. Way too much stuff to remember. <laughs> if you can't remember it and you're wondering what we were talking about, go to cottonmouth.org, and all of those gigs are listed right at the top in order, and you can uh, help you get around this weekend if you want to figure out what's going on. It definitely wears me out. That's a now. Now the now the, fo- even... uh, the the following weekend though. Yeah, we got something going on called Hopper Fest Two. Hopper Fest Deuce Second uh, Annual. It is the second annual Hopper Fest happening June 17th and 18th at the VFW in Cottage Hills. And if you have, I mean, we've, there's been a lot of uh, festivals happen there at the past uh, four or five years. If you haven't been out to one, man, get out and check it out. It's a fun uh, place to just hang out. Uh, a very relaxed atmosphere. Good times every time I've been out there. So I would suggest you get out there. Now, the lineup for this, because it's it's a great lineup both nights. Yeah. How much is it to get in Friday? $10. $10? And then $10 again Saturday? Right. So both days are $10 to get in. Friday, $10. And for, for your $10, you get Left X Royal starting 6 to 7 p.m., Frank Anthony going 7 to 8 p.m., Atomic Heart 8 to 9 p.m., Suburban Rocket Launchers 9 to 10, and then Tripwire finishing it off 10 to 11. That is less than two fifty a band. I'm just going to say it. That's less than right. $2.50 a band. That's like $2 a band, basically. So there you go. See, I, it took me a minute for the math to kick in because I, you know, I, 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 I learned that new math. It's kind of like new Coke. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, so so Saturday. Uh, Can somebody <laughs> check his cup. I don't yeah. know what's in it, but <laughs> I learned that new math, which means I can't do math. No, no. So you don't have to check his cup. His stuff's invisible. You can't oh, even see it. Oh, is that what it is? Okay. <laughs> Odorless, tasteless. <laughs> Yeah. And it can only be checked through a hair sample. Never wears <laughs> off. <laughs> I've been like this since 1985. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so there you go. So Saturday, again, $10. And now you're getting eight bands for $10. Come on, man. Uh, starting at 1 p.m., uh, Matthew Murder. 2 to 3 p.m., you got 17, 18. 4 to 5 p.m., the birds of squalor. You don't want to miss that one. Jeff McGee taking the stage 5 to 6 p.m., 86 Red, 7 to 8 p.m. Synapsis, who is a band with a new album coming out. I don't know if that album is released yet, but I believe it has uh, either been released or right on the cuffs of being released. So, uh, Ooh, hope. Synapsis. Yeah, oh, Synapsis. It's, it's supposed to be Snaps, but snaps. I'm changing it to Ooh, yeah. Synapsis. Ooh. Snaps. Uh, my, I got two brain cells my synapses aren't really firing properly so uh but synapses is playing eight to nine p.m i noticed and- you missed your thumb when you tried to sing <laughs> you just totally didn't even get close <laughs> i can never do that right i can't do that either <laughs> then then we got uh, ogt which is old guys trying that yep. that's that's a working title of yep. a band uh going on 9 to 10 p.m and then look out it's going to get really heavy at the end with insectomy uh going 10 to 11 p.m man again friday night big uh great lineup saturday night great lineup both of those days ten dollars a piece to get in that's at the vfw in cottage hills and you want to bring a little extra money because there's going to be uh merch to buy uh they got koozies hopper fest to koozies and 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 if yeah, you've ever three-sided man you see that it's even on the bottom bro wow look at that it is that's a, pretty spiffy <clears throat> we love it three there you go that's so when you turn it up everybody Pe- see? people because yeah. yeah, it doesn't do any good advertising it when your hands your around hands it, usually my drink's always <laughs> nice. like this so right. it, makes per- it makes perfect sense also there will be uh some some t-shirts available uh, for everybody out there, if you've uh, been into Hopperfest and bought any musical instrument, now you get to have a T-shirt to go with it. Yeah, yeah. So. It ain't going to be like crazy expensive. I think they're like 
the t-shirts are like 15 bucks and the right there you go these things are i'm not even two sure. bucks like yeah. two bucks mm-hmm. yeah so there you go I mean, come on and then oh uh you got God. some vendors out there as well we got uh yeah we have uh timo zeets and then uh we have a couple of people yeah, that's going to be I know selling my, stuff. i know my sister-in-law's gonna be uh uh vending uh she makes these baskets it's they're freaking awesome she makes these baskets for uh, birthday, birthdays, holidays, and, whatever. <laughs> like for kids that for to go to the swimming pool and just right. all kinds of stuff. Nice, but yeah, it's cool. She's so. gonna be vending and then uh, some bake stuff. Yeah, some bake. You're supposed to have some bake, ba- like you know. Edibles. Uh, edibles, shit. Ed- oh, yeah. Edible stuff. Edibles is it. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Yeah. Edibles is it. Yeah, it is it. It is it. Anybody yeah. that wants to set a table up. So Pigpen pig hey. will be out there slinging. I, I, and, uh, I will be like, like the girls at Dairy Queen slinging soft serve. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to try to, you know, I mean. Cheese sandwiches. Just so people... Uh, <laughs> We're going to try to keep this stuff going as long as we possible can. Yeah. We possibly can. Um. I, I was kind of a little, uh, uh, after last year's thing, I had a scare because I had a stroke afterward, Ooh. like afterwards, but I did come back from it pretty well. So, and now I'm doing just fine, but, you know, I'm just saying, you know, we're going to keep try to keep it going as long as we can. It's just uh, he thought it a was great... a stroke. I actually hit him in the head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was okay, a frying she pan. The truth. She told the truth. Yeah, yeah you that was a frying pan right. stroke. Right. <laughs> you see this lump right you know. here? You see this patch of hair that won't grow back? That's where she hit me real good. Hey, you you think the Johnny Depp trial was good? Wait till you hear about the Jody Hopper Robert <laughs> Shaw trial. <laughs> I ain't going to court. I ain't going to court. Uh, man, I wouldn't be able to say one word. I just have to be like, I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. I see you learning. Not him, Drain. Uh, so it is going to be a yeah, good time. That's what I. Time. That's what I want to say about it. Yeah, that's if, what if we, you're. That's what we want. What it's just yes. a good yeah. time with old friends. Just come have fun and do what you do. Yeah, and 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 so many uh, uh, musicians in the area got mus got their first guitars oh, going yeah. coming out of that shop, and that's you know we I was just talking with some people about for the size of the town, we have a, as big of a music. Oh, yeah. You know, community is what a lot of major cities oh, we do. We actually do. And that's why we have this huge list of gigs going on, not over in the St. Louis side, but over here on this right. side, because there are so many wow. great musicians. Uh, there is. That, that I are, agree with you. Yeah, and, and uh, I believe you played a huge part in that. I would like so. to think so. I did all I could do. For, yeah, for, we'll better, for better or worse, you for played a big part. We get thanked for that about. Uh, I'd say about ten times every day. Right. Well, n- everybody now, we talk to. See, you you, did, you inadvertently helped, I believe, maybe keep a lot of kids off drugs because oh, yeah. we have a theory that if you want to keep your kids off drugs, you give them a guitar. They're going to love music so much they'll never be able to afford drugs because they're buying an, uh, music equipment. However, if they True. happen to hit it big, they're probably going to OD. <laughs> well, <laughs> there, there's, there, there's that one because they got a million dollars all of a sudden. Our store wasn't just a music store. Oh. I was there for right. a lot of kids that needed it, someone. It, it, it was where I spent a lot of time sitting across the little glass yep. desk. <laughs> Talking about life and talking about Absolutely. how I one of these days I'm gonna learn how to tune one of these guitars. Right? I'm still <laughs> trying. Don would holler, tune it or put it down. Right. What does it mean yeah. if I'm doing this and they're warbling? <laughs> the, the vibrations seem to be bouncing against each other in an odd way. <laughs> well, yeah. Why is that? It was like the old never had to go store. to her and say, "Hey Jody, uh, I think my uh, girlfriend's uh, gonna have a baby." But there's people that have. So. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I yeah. no, I, I, I did. I don't remember doing that. Right. I hope I didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> if I did, it's all secret. If, if I did, yeah, I was gonna say, if I did, don't tell my wife. <laughs> but yeah. speaking of Darren Gray, yeah, yeah, he practically lived at my store yeah. the first year. You did, yeah. and he actually come in and said, Jody, you need to sit down because I've got to talk to you. Yeah, yeah. and. That's what it was. Yeah. And I said, well, you play the game, you pay the price, yeah. you know. But he, he did. He, he was. He did what he's supposed to. Oh, my to. goodness. He's yeah. a good guy. Oh, yeah. He's done great. And I ta- he, he messaged me last year after we had it. 
the fest, and he said, you don't know how I wanted to be there, oh. but I'm so far away. Yeah. yeah. You know. New York, and I believe, right? He's in like Paris yeah, now. Paris now, yeah. Huh? yeah. And I told him, I said, Darren, I would love nothing more than for you to be mm, there. Yes. Yeah. Mm. And, and if you're just, ever here in the area, <laughs> yeah. Come oh, on. well, he does. If he's yeah. ever home in this area, and this yeah. chair's giving me a fit. Oh, you can but, stand it. We're almost done. So. Uh, I'm just as tall as y'all now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> But he's if he's ever in the area, he yeah. makes sure. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's and yeah. even his dad came to me oh long after he had been playing for years and he told me, he said, Jody, I, I we just want to thank you so much. You played such a big part in mm. Darren's life. He very easily could have went the wrong way. Oh yeah. And I said, I agree with you, but sometimes it just takes talking. Mm. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and uh, my parents went to her and said, "My kid went the wrong way, and we blamed oh, her." That no, they, they paid me. They wanted me. <laughs> yeah. If you'll keep talking to him, and just keep him out of the house for a little longer. Can't you, you know, make a little place over in the corner for? <laughs> right. We do it all the time, Pigpen. Though when we meet when we meet folks uh, from out of town, maybe not from this area, we talk about how lucky we are yep. growing oh, up yeah. in this area and to have Jody Hopper, and she'll tell you too. We're also lucky to have Halpa Music because oh, yeah, she absolutely. would uh, she would send us to Halpa Music when if I yeah, yeah. if I didn't have it no. Halpin was the first hey. place I'd send them. So we had two music well, stores. I was, was yeah. going to say, and, and when they when they opened up the Sound Spot, oh, it, it oh, was yeah. like, oh, are we a big city here? Or yeah. What just happened? Like suddenly, <laughs> you know, it's like you know, you you could go in and look at guitars. You know, I mean, like I again, I only had five dollars a week, so. I, you know, but you're working with like a band like the Undecided. Well, you know, suddenly oh, yeah. there, there was that was where they had their uh, uh, you know money set up or whatever. Right. You know, it, they were playing five nights a week and didn't get a paycheck, but they could go <laughs> sign their name and get a right. get gear. Big so gear, that was that yeah. was, that and, was better than money Jody, to us. Jody only had so much room, so oh, she yeah. knew she knew you know stuff that needs to be overstocked. We'll just send them down to help and absolutely they'll be taken yeah. care of. So yeah, and, that worked out great for us. So. Yeah, and and, and we. Want want to thank both Jody and Robert for coming in tonight and talking to us about Hopper Fest, the second annual Hopper Fest, going on June 17th and 18th at the VFW in Cottage Hills. Going to be a great time. Yep. Y'all are like a part of my... Part of my family, so yeah. yeah. How about Matt Van Boris? Is he part of your family? Oh, absolutely. Just okay. <laughs> making sure. I just had to call him today. We yeah, need a we need a good a Matt Van Boris. Yes, we do. We so. need to give him. Cheers so, for everything yeah, he's yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. I knew his grandpa okay. even, and they were all great people. Is that Joe Greenwell? No, <laughs> that's not Joe Greenwell. But I knew Joe Greenwell. Everybody's related to him. I, yeah. I didn't know Matt's. Well, I didn't know Matt's grandpa, but I knew his grandma. Yeah, sweetheart, she was a sweetheart. Sweetheart, and uh, his dad was my I don't know like sixth grade teacher or something. I you know, know, I I knew his dad, but not personally. Yeah. But I did know his grandparents personally. Him, I mean, him and his him, him and his dad are leaving town together tomorrow to go on a little father son trip. So good for the Van cool. Boris. And yeah. we want to thank Matt Van Boris yeah. and Macias Insurance uh, for sponsoring our show we want to thank Halpin music for sponsoring our show the two of them have kept us on for i don't know six seven eight years however long we've been doing this it's been a while uh so thanks to them we get to come in and jackass around <laughs> yeah. on the radio for once real. a week talk about all the so music glad they happening. don't listen uh, yeah, right. <laughs> oh that's how you do it <laughs> right right we, we, we just told them it was in. In, we told them it was a different city and they couldn't hear us <laughs> yeah you just walk in and say everything's great yeah yeah, yeah. so big thanks to <laughs> big thanks to our both of our sponsors there big thanks to our guests uh jody hopper robert shaw uh, everybody yes. get out to the vfw in cottage hills yep. june 17th and 18th hopper fest number two yes and in the meantime, between now and then, everybody get out and support local music and Absolutely. art. Absolutely. 